It is uh, January 25, 2024. And um, it has started to be a little change in my life because I, I uh, now I, uh, when it starts 2024, uh, things opening and I have not been into uh, drive to those places where there is meetings not a religious meeting but to meet other people in any age uh, but I I have done that because uh, in this area where I live do we have a website or um, a site f uh, on Facebook where we can talk about things that happen in our area so I was to a, me a meeting this week and uh, it's not far away so it's no excuse to not go there and it's only uh, one day in a week on Tuesday and uh, so it takes me five minutes to drive there to m with my scooter and I was there and it was opening after after Christmas uh, and New Eve and uh, uh, I got something to eat and a coffee to drink I don't drink uh, much coffee but I can drink coffee it's not that I I don't want to do it it's uh, I can do it and uh, I did have one uh, I had whipped cream with me so I could take that to the co into the coffee and that was good because it was so very very dark coffee and uh, it show up that I when I come back home I I pee on myself I I I couldn't take away my uh, my pants as uh, quick enough and I have this wrapping on my legs so I it was only to take them away so I don't have uh, anything wrapping on my legs this week but uh, I have not said that to my to my doctor that I don't have it I will I will tell and next time I meet uh, the doctor and uh, and say it was yesterday that I needed to take it off and not tell the truth because uh, they he maybe go angry at me so I don't want to do that and uh, it is they I have told them that it doesn't work to to wrap my legs it's not that problem you know I have told you that I have uh, I have um, chronic stress because of everything that have happened in my life since my birth uh, evil things and I have high blood pressure when I was eight years old and uh, and I w had I have told you but not together with this uh, but I was uh, had the connection with God when I was eight years old so they in some way they calmed me down in this that I was 
I I had so str- stressful childhood and they come and talk to me and it was when I was eight years old I I was uh, behind my parents uh, bookshelf and uh, I I hold uh, a book in my hand that was not for a child but uh, that book was a spirit book it was not a real book uh, and in that book I saw uh, many faces and and now I I have no thinking about it but now it's coming to me that uh, uh, in the book was it only men so that's uh, it's what I have told you that the it, like some men have in on the altar they tell me that God doesn't talk to any woman and uh, and they uh, that is very hard to be a woman and and preaching you need to be married to a preacher uh, you you need to have someone that is over you as a woman that's what they say overseer seers uh, to to take care of you because you can't stand on your own legs uh, because God doesn't talk to you so a man need to tell tell you what God is telling you and that is a lie it's not right it's um and um it's um as long as you you believe in this what man is telling you that god doesn't talk to a woman and her place uh, in this world is to give birth to his children and uh, and be um, uh, that he allowed you to do some preaching under his command what he's tell you what what you should say you need to uh, to give him before you do any preaching you need to tell him what you are going to preach and then he tell you if it's okay to preach or not uh, you are uh, under his roof you are not your own you are a slave you're a prisoner and um, and now I see this uh, uh, on uh, uh, Facebook there is those uh, small reels coming now it's very much about uh, black churches and they do those African dance I have told you before you that have followed me from the start that uh, they did the same in Africa when I was there out in the forest when I lived there Uh, they did exactly the same as they did in the church in in the United States. They did those dances. And um, you know, I had told you that I was in black churches in the United States for 20 years ago. And and, uh, we were dancing in the spirit, but we never did African dance. We dance, but it was not African dance. 
but they do it now exactly the same thing in their dance and it is this uh, no really music it's only drums and then they do this uh, african dance and uh, when i was in i was in uh, 95% i was in total black churches and uh, the, uh, some people didn't like that i was white and come into their church but i told them that god had told me to to visit their church and, and to learn what's going on and i didn't know anything about churches so that that was what i was started in it was black churches and i learned from the black churches and not from the white and uh, but we da- never danced this African dance that they do now. Twenty years later, they do that today. And I, I tell some people that I can tell that there is much drugs in the church. And that is what I have told you uh, earlier in my podcast about how they were full of drugs and it was people that pay the church for to do the drugs and uh, I was there I saw it I come to know it it was very much drugs going on in in those black churches I was in and I am sure there is in white churches also. And that's why they dancing this African dance style. And I be a little thirsty because I I have bought a heater. So it's cold outside and uh, it's a low temperature so I should freezing if I don't have this uh, heater that I bought we have central heat here so if it's under 6 celsius plus 6 6 uh, celsius then they uh, 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 they take it off the heat and then it should be okay the temperature inside but it isn't because it's in the same time is it very rainy weather that make it cold inside Uh, and I tell you that It is full moon now when I'm recording, so I don't know if it will happen something that have with full moon to do. And um, it has been some talking and that make me, uh, make me recording this because it have been in the air something that make me that I should start a recording and I I feel someone here just now and but I'm going to tell you that maybe tomorrow I going to visit our library we have that in in our area it's only like five minutes from where i live but uh, i have told you that i can't read books 
because God stopped me to could read books when he come down and talked to me in year 2000. And after that, I, I, can't, I only can listen. Uh, that's what God wanted me to be, to listen in the air and listen to him and listen to the afterlife. And uh, when I tell you about afterlife, I have got some uh, friends now since the meeting we had. Uh, but they are not yet really my friends, but they have noticed me. And uh, one woman, she, uh, I have her as a friend now on Facebook, and she asked if uh, people that have died, if if they go to heaven and and work with their own life in after life uh, built up home uh, friends and uh, family in after life she have not really understood it and maybe some of you that listen have not understood it that is, it is not like here on earth. It's, an, I explain for her that uh, in afterlife there is so totally different from uh, what we live here on earth. That uh, they are, there is like uh, no judgment in heaven in that way like we have here on earth uh, the spirit that is here tell me to tell you that uh, he's sending sending uh, telepathy to me what I should say, tell you and uh, there is no judgment like here on earth. And when we do our judgment in on 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 this planet here on earth, we we do the judgment after what we can understand in what we see and hear and read and. Uh, we don't know this person, how it started, and uh, I got got some uh, message today from Afterlife. They say that uh, it's not only about your life, how it have started, how it have been, and why you have done what you have done in judgment way it's they also the spirit they can also see where you are coming from in that way when your parents met each other uh, because that can have done things to you as a baby because they didn't know. So they raised you in that way they could understand. And what they understand was not wrong. And that make you be what you are today. So they don't only see your life. They see your parents' life. And in that way, could understand why you become the one that you are. And today is it was it on the news here in Sweden, 
about in the United States. There's a man that should be killed in the prison, and uh, uh, he. They have taken that away the penetry, uh, but it. He did crime before they changed the law, so he is going to be killed. And uh, and it's many of it's a split this with uh, if they should kill a person because it's hard for for people to understand this with a with the Bible that if someone hits you you should hit back and uh, and I have just uh, I have just uh, placed uh, how to forgive in uh, in my podcast just done it that uh, where it's tell you about to forgive and um, it it come to this people that judge this man that he he should die because he killed another person and uh, that this biblic way to to say but um, it is we should not kill that's what it says from the beginning that we should not kill so it's on them that make the decision to kill, to be judged in heaven, and uh, and it's on uh, those uh, related to the one that he killed, if they should forgive him and uh, let him uh, sit in the in the jail his whole life through but then is it some people saying about the money and the, it cost money everything anything and um, but the killing of him in prison that make it shorter way to to lose the money on this man and um, and we know uh, I have told you what God is saying about money that is it's not God that is should not rule the world the money but it does It does, and um, of course, sometimes is it uh, money a good thing if we do good things with it, or else it it is not God. Uh, when I got the money from from you, from people. I never take it to myself. I do the the work for God with those money. Because the uh, uh, the money is God's money and not mine. It should not be for me myself. Uh, there is a reason why I got why I get this money from from people. And that that reason is to 
built more in what God is telling you to to tell you the uh, what God what's in God's will and um, I have paid my platforms now so I'm free from the bills uh, so I'm very thankful for you that have helped me to pay the the bills and now is it very much screaming uh, on me that I need to go to Ireland and that is very hard for me as I, I can't walk like before that I am so weak in my body and I I maybe can take the flight to Ireland and be at the hotel. But then I need to look around also and walk where God wants me to walk or what heaven afterlife wants me to visit as I, uh, as uh, most of my and sister is coming from Ireland, so I need to check it out. And uh, and they come f- like Vikings to England and Ireland, and they uh, th- those Viking was royals, and they married royals in England and Ireland, and and they even had. Uh, they own some areas in Ireland and and the, um, I wanted to check out uh, the druids what it is because, because I was told that I have been a druid in year 600 so I don't. I want to know what they are going to say, my ancestors, that was druid, and uh, and I need to to go, uh, go and be there because they are so many that was from Ireland, and then they. Uh, moved to United States because they could speak English so it was easier for them to come to to United States and work there and they were many of them be, become preachers there open up churches in the United States not everyone was Mormon church they also was in many other churches Catholic also and um, so I I need to go there to check it out because they gonna gonna talk to me when I'm there about Ireland and how it was in their time I have talked to you, you that uh, is follower to me that have been from the start in my podcast. I have told you that uh, the first, first when I walk in in Virginia Beach in the United States, I had Jesus with me. And he walked with me and talked to me. And he told me how it was when he lived. So I come to know very much details about Jesus. And that's the same way when I will be in Ireland. They are going to talk to me in Ireland that they can't talk like 
like that uh, here in my home. <sighs> yeah, I, I can maybe get some talking to me from Ireland in that time when I lived. I have done that with Queen Mary, she that got her head cut away and she come twice and, and one time I laugh because it's it sounded fun when she come and walk and look on the floor and I ask her why she look at the floor the whole time and she said that she was looking for her head she was not completed when the head was on here on earth and some of her was in heaven but she was not fully complete if she didn't find her head she t she told me and uh, and you heard it you that have followed me and so she was from that direction and i was in scotland and i was to the castle not as a tourist we were uh, driving to the park the castle park and we walk around in the park and then I sit uh, on a bench made of stone and I say to to m my daughter's father my daughter was not born yet and uh, it was 84, 1984 and I say to my daughter's father maybe the queen have sitting here on this bench where I sit I say to him and maybe I had that contact with her but I I didn't know I didn't knew in that time what I know today that uh, I didn't know that afterlife uh, exists I didn't know that my ancestor live in afterlife I didn't know that in that time it's a uh, it's not a long time ago I find it out and I found it out because they were telling me in Jerusalem 2016 they told me that I should do my DNA and from that moment that when I got my DNA uh, and I got it from Ireland my DNA and uh, I I got uh, those visits uh, coming to me and I say yesterday to to he that come first that really make me understand that he existed but in afterlife that I have told you this that he come uh, with a uh, like um, a paper, white paper, and uh, on in that p white paper, it I read like I am walking, because I didn't know th that I had uh, ancestors that was in in the United States, and. Um, I only thought uh, it was in Scandinavia and I had ancestors and uh, and I say to him I can't really read what you are 
uh, writing there. So he went away and come back after some second. And then he had another paper that he hold up. And he come closer to, to my bed so I could read what he was saying. And it was saying, I am James Walker, he said. And I didn't understand because I had not done my DNA in that time when he come. So I, I had no clue what what did it mean with James Walker. I am James Walker. But then when I got my my DNA result from Ireland, uh, I found out I have lots of worker in my family tree. And uh, it is people that, is, I think uh, two women was married to Joseph Smith in the Mormon church. And from them is it where they are coming. It's lots of worker in my family tree. So he will, I have find him. I'm not really sure that it is he because I have about uh, six, seven James Walker in my family tree. So I'm not sure, but uh, I know I remember how he looked like, and he had this, um, like, uh, it's like they live in a mansion, they have a big ranch, they have, they are not uh, uh, really farmer, but they are owner of farm, and they have this um, clothes on, it, that is very nice with skin on the elbow uh, on, on the coat they have have skin there and uh, so he, he looked like he was in the 50 60s a year 1950 90 60 like that when he come so, uh, uh, and that showed me that he was real, that he lived in afterlife. And uh, today, now I jump to another subject, because today they were talking on the news about password to protect your password. I don't know if, how, how far it's going, but maybe it's all over the world going to be this, that they steal your password. And the best way to do is to and change your password. Um, uh, and not everyone, uh, but those that have with the money to do or a relationship with other people, like uh, Facebook and I say net Netflix, but I don't have Netflix. But many people have that. Uh, those password is that is for uh, those uh, those places where you are interested to uh, watch, open up every day, and. Uh, I I can't say so much as I don't have. A, any friends that they can try to get money from and and they 
are saying that they are me and uh, that I need money from you. And uh, I don't take, uh, I don't have any connection with you private. So that's impossible that I should know you and uh, ask for money. I don't know you. I have told you that that I don't I can see you sometimes how you look like but I don't know details about you and but you should be careful with your passwords and I I, I laugh about myself because I I have password that is 15 uh, signs alone. I don't use anything that can connect it to real things. I don't say that. I had that from the beginning I had my daughter's name and her birth year. But that is too easy to know. Uh, so it's those uh, passwords I have, it is uh, make no sense. And they are 15 long. Uh, so I can't remember them on my own. But I have a paper that I have all the password on and uh, it's not on the internet uh, it's on my computer but it's not on, um, connected with the internet and so I, I put a warning because that's how it is today it's very much criminal going on and you know what time it is when when they are, have told us for some years ago they told us that uh, uh, in the end of time the good should be uh, be treated like it is bad and bad things should be treated like it's good things so uh, you have to not run and make a decision you need stop and I have told you to say uh, I can't tell I can't answer you today uh, let me think about it and I will return to you tomorrow my answer about it if it's something important that you make must make a decision some important uh, where uh, you should pay money for something you need to to say that to them that I uh, I can take your information about these things and then I think about it overnight and then I answer you back tomorrow. That's the wise thing to do in this time we live in. Don't rush. Don't rush away with decision that is it's uh, important decisions uh, the decision that have with your life to do the decision that have with your money to do uh, the decision about uh, what relationship you should have with a, a man or a woman what decision you should make with to buy it a house, a car, what is the good with it, the benefit to do it. You can 
write it up on a paper where you ask a question to yourself. Why is the reason why I should buy these things just now? Can I wait to buy it to, lay, to buy it later on? Those things you should write up on a paper and then you go there if there is something that teasing you to spend money on or you spend your time on. So it's time for me to end this recording. I may be uh, lost things that I should have say, but I hope I can say that next time then. And um, don't take everything I say to you 100%. You need to think on your own. You, you need to have your brain with you and be wise and some things is to about to pondering about what I have said to you but it's not needed to be the total truth for you and your life you need to to make decision of your own also so thank you for listening. God bless you.